Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and welcome to Shawnee's Prayer. And as always, I start my prayer off of a blood scripture. Coming from Romans chapter 5, verse 9. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Let's go to the throne of grace. Father God, I just want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for being mighty. Thank you, Father God, for being good. Thank you, Father God, for being God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, your word tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. And everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. So, Father God, we are supposed to give you thanks, Father God, regardless of what we are going through. We are supposed to give you thanks regardless of what we are dealing with. We are supposed to give you thanks regardless of what we don't have and what we stand in need of, Father God. We are still supposed to give you thanks. We're supposed to give you thanks regardless of what our bodies may feel like, Father God. We are supposed to give you thanks, Father God, even if we're going through depression. We're supposed to give you thanks, Father God, even if we're going through anxiety, Father God, because you said in everything, and everything means every single thing, we are supposed to give you thanks. We're supposed to give you thanks when we don't have any money in the bank accounts, Father God. We're supposed to give you thanks, Father God, when we get laid off of our jobs, Father God. We're supposed to give you thanks, Father God, when we open the refrigerator, Father God, and there's nothing there, Father God. We're still supposed to give you thanks, Father God, because you are mighty, Father God. We're supposed to give you thanks because you are God of miracles. You are God God that make ways out of no way. You are a God that's a miracle worker, Father God. You are a God that's a provider, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. So because of what we are going through, regardless of what storm we may be in, Father God, we are still supposed to give you thanks because you are the shelter in the time of storm, Father God. We are supposed to give you thanks regardless of what test we may be experiencing, Father God, because you said you will make a way of escape for us, Father God. Father God, we are supposed to give you thanks regardless of what tribulation we may be in, Father God, because you said nothing shall separate us from the love of God. So, Father God, regardless of what we are going through, we are supposed to give you thanks. We are supposed to give you thanks because you are sovereign, Father God. We are supposed to give you thanks.